Ah, fuck you. Look what we got. We got pork belly. We are gonna make bacon. Ah, applewood chips. I'm gonna try doing this in a few different ways. I'm gonna try it in a Dutch oven. <laughs> I'm gonna try something with this little dipshit $10 noodle cooker thing. All right, let's turn this stupid little $10 rice cooker with a uh, noodle cooker, whatever the fuck it is, with no temperature control whatsoever into <laughs> whatever the hell shit we're doing. All right, so let's just, then you know what? Let's go ahead and just kind of puncture. Let's go ahead. Put that on there. Seal the uh, seal the spout with a sticky bob. I happen to found these little adhesive tabs for stuff. I'm gonna try forming a seal around the edge here, and ending up in some sort of legal action. So let's watch this shit. Okay. Then, eh, and, eh. Let's go and take this big thick piece. Put that underneath and see how it goes while I prep the next method. All right, so I got a foil line, cast iron, enamel Dutch oven there that I <coughs> am proceeding to insert wood into. That's a penis joke. And yeah, it's not the kind of Dutch oven I used to fart in bed with my ex-wife in. That's not even why she left me, nor was the rampant, in, rampant infidelity. You'd, you'd actually be surprised why. This, this this I got off like one of those like Bon Appetit's or America's Test Kitchens. You know those shows where they like show a big kitchen and like they just have somebody talking about it. It's an industrial kitchen, but just for show they always got like one or two people just like working in the background doing other test stuff and you don't even know if they're actually doing shit or if it's just like look this is a busy industrial test kitchen look how busy people in the background are but not too many people at least only like one or two so anyways and here's another little thingy i picked up from that video here's a uh, little silicone uh, mat here does that even fit Let's try this little trivet you know Little trivet thing. Look at this fatty ass fat piece. All right, let's get these guys seasoned up. Peach bourbon, Kinder's, it's fucking good. Kinder's always makes bomb shit. We're making our own bacon. And, uh, and, and we're gonna use an induction burner. We're breaking all the rules. We're making Texas cry. It's like the Texans are like, you liberals, with your induction cooktops. <laughs> oh. So. Now, I usually use the power setting, but this time I can control by temperature. So, you know, I'm trying it off this, uh, this midi cooker first. And I will, to be honest, it smells like bacon. And it's smelling like, it does kind of smell a little, like, gamey human meat. That's okay, that's what pork belly's supposed to taste like. Okay, well, moment of truth. Let's, um... You know. Holy fucking shit. I just made bacon in a $10 noodle cooker. I fucking rock. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we'll check in a little later on the stuff on the induction burner.